optimal hobby. Not what I was expecting to see for the area. Hey everyone, headed to a construction site. I guess they have a uh, rattlesnake on site. Uh, this area has a lot of Mojaves. I tend to get a lot of Mojaves over here. So lots of open desert around, but also lots of construction and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go grab this rattlesnake. How you doing? In the box? Oh, in this, okay. Oh, thanks. It's Mojave. Yeah, he blends in pretty good. <laughs> it's a Mojave. Yeah, those are the, probably the most common ones out this way. You guys can come check them out in the bucket. Really pretty one. Whoa. Really dark. Look, check that out. <laughs> yeah, watch watch your hands when you guys pick all this stuff up. <laughs> See, I was always afraid of that too now. Because they don't always rattle, and I'm sure it didn't rattle at him either. Nah, it scared the hell out of Just saw him. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It yeah. Pokes. He's a really gorgeous Mojave. Look at that many? Yeah, you are, dude. Don't be scared. Come on. What do you do with it now? Uh, I gotta find it a way better spot. Normally, we won't take it as far as I'll probably have to take this one, but this whole area is just so developed, like demolished now. So yeah. I'll just go find some good, good habitat as okay. close as I can. How's it going, guys? It is a beautiful day here in the North Valley, and I am. Uh, making my way to a property about 15 minutes away for a uh, rattlesnake that is currently sitting on the patio of a house. Uh, at the moment, that's all I know. I was called by the uh, property manager for this apartment complex. It's right there in the corner. He's, all... He's hiding for sure. Yeah. He threw me off for a little bit. <laughs> Nice Mojave rattlesnake. Not what I was expecting to see for the area. Oh, you're all right. If he wasn't so poisonous, I'd say he's cute. <laughs> they do have their uh, their looks. I definitely understand that. I'm a, I'm a snake fan. I just don't like the ones that try to kill me. Understandable. Don't want the ones that are near your cat. Uh-huh. Thanks so much. No problem. Anytime. So that was a little bit unexpected. I can't say I was expecting to pull out a Mojave. Given the area and everything, I was more so um, ready to see a diamond back there. Hey, any day with a Mojave is a good day. The only sad part about the entire situation is that I can't release him back where I would like to because again, this is a situation where everything that this animal had previously known is now developed. Everything has been unearthed in that entire area and I'm gonna have to take the snake a little bit farther. But the good news is these guys do, I mean, adjust really well. This looks like a perfect new home for our little Mojave here. That's what we like to see. All right, we got this mauve here. It's a gorgeous mauve. Really dark, clean, really dark, clean pattern. Oh, what a do. Found it a nice pack there last year. Here you go, little bud. All right, well, that worked out good. Uh, the gentleman ended up seeing the snake in the box. 
uh, and then dropped it right away. So thank goodness for that. Just another lesson. Uh, don't always count on a rattle. Just know where you're putting your hands. It was pretty much flat land out there, but there was uh, a lot of stuff on the ground and uh, shipping containers. I'm sure the rattlesnake hibernated probably under the shipping container and just came out under all that other rubble because uh, it's a nice day. Found it a nice spot. Doesn't look like it's gonna get developed here. Should be good. Hey everybody, I am out the door again. The phone is ringing like crazy and I have a rattlesnake in Gilbert that I gotta go get. So let's get to it. This is about the time where things really start getting nuts. <laughs> so we got the first stretch of 90 degree weather here in the spring here in April and it's a couple days of 90 degree weather. So it's not just this one off and the snakes are dispersing from dens and they are getting into places that they shouldn't be getting into. <laughs> so I don't know of anybody who hasn't run a couple calls today. Hello. Do you still see it? Yeah, there. Okay. So you see that little patch of grass? Yeah. There's like a um, drip line there. He's just laying there. Oh, yep. I see it. A little Mojave rattlesnake. Okay, got it. All right, well, into the darkness we go. It's that time of year, isn't it? Find a place for this fussy Mojave. Now, I know we're gonna get comments about Mojave's, the deadly green Mojave being the most aggressive one out there. Deadliest, worstest, and you've heard us talk about this before, but the honest truth is that every individual animal has its own disposition and personality. It's not necessarily the species that makes it that way. It's, we've had just as many cool cucumber Mojave's as we have fussy ones. Same with diamondbacks, same with sidewinders, speckled rattlesnakes, all of them, so. It's time to go home. You know what? I don't want it to hurt himself by smacking my tongs. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just dump this bucket. Come on, dude. Wrong way, Buster. You see how kind of dusty it is? That means that snake came out of the ground not too long ago. It needs a shed skin, new fresh coat of paint. Ah. All right, see you later. <laughs> 